We are in the second part of our examination of MAD and its release of its third first issue recently with the new issue of number one of MAD magazine. And when we last left off, we were looking at MAD the comic book. That's right, it started as a comic book. One of the things that allowed MAD enough time to catch its footing was that Bill Gaines would commit the profits from his other more successful magazines, things like horror and suspense, to pay for the comics like science fiction and humor uh, that weren't as popular. But MAD, through works like Harvey Kurtzman and its general irreverency and satire of a society in the 1950s that definitely deserved it, caught on and became popular and was imitated by other comic book companies all across the country. Now we enter into the darkest year in comic book history, 1954. This is the year that Dr. Frederick Wortham's uh, Seduction of the Innocent was released, where he makes his argument and basically proves to the American public that comic books are the cause of violence and delinquency among America's youth. Uh, everyone's up in arm over comic books. There are laws being passed. The United States Congress holds televised hearings. And at these hearings, Bill Gaines gives a passionate First Amendment defense of horror comics that was very poorly received, not just by the censorship movement, but by also other American comic book manufacturers. It helped initiate the Draconian Comics Code Authority, which eliminated by title most of Gaines's horror comics and suspense comics. In fact, by September of that year, he gives up on them entirely as the code comes into effect. He, with Feldstein, tries to create new comics that will meet the code, but these are not getting distributed or getting a chance to get out there. And he's also running into problems with the code itself. He's got one successful magazine left, or should say comic book left, that is mad. And it's at this point that Harvey Kurtzman gets an offer to go work in a magazine. Now, really with no choices left and very few options, Gaines takes one more huge gamble. He tells Harvey Kurtzman that he can finally have the magazine he always wants, and he rolls the dice and gives Kurtzman carte blanche to create Mad not as a comic book, but as a magazine. By no longer being a comic book, is no longer subject to approval and censorship by the Comics Code Authority. Issue number 24, the second first issue, came out in 1955. Uh, in addition to having the same incredible artists like Jack Davis and Wally Wood, it also features some other amazing talents. For instance, Ernie Kovacs is here, one of the all-time great TV comics. And over here is Richard Price, a com comedian writer who also created Mad Libs. In ending our discussion of MAD, we want to say that on the very first issue, they said this new magazine is vital and that there is a very important message from the editors. And like today, we'd like to read that message to you, which is, please buy this magazine. Or in this case, please buy this magazine.